What part of your thumb is supposed to touch the string anyway? This part's so bony, but this part's fleshy and weak. What's going on? It's Jason Heath, and there's a lot of debate about where exactly to land on your thumb when you're up in thumb position. There are two main spots, and in this video, I'm going to show you the advantages, disadvantages, and some extra tips for getting better at thumb position. The first spot that I usually have folks start on is the knuckle. It's nice and hard because it's a knuckle and it's just kind of an easy spot to start. And what I usually recommend people do is start just by touching the octave harmonic right up there. Then once you get used to that, put it down on the octave harmonic and then move around a little bit. Just of some nearby pitches. The main disadvantage for playing on the knuckle is just that your thumb kind of bumps into the other strings, so it feels a little bit less precise. And also, there's something about the way that your hand is oriented when you're on the knuckle. I, I kind of feel like it's not the most comfortable for my fingers. So ultimately, I like to myself and for other folks get them comfortable playing closer to the nail. Now, this is not as comfortable at first because there's this nice bone here and this is fleshy and uh, yeah, it can kind of hurt a little bit. The reason you hear squeaks in this video is because of this little boy here. Are you gonna keep squeaking? Ultimately, I find myself using both spots and I kind of alter it depends on the passage that I'm playing. And there are many ways that you can get more comfortable using either spot. So first of all, just make it a daily practice. Do this a little bit every single day and you will build up a callus. Even doing something called bloody thumbs, which <laughs> I recommend and then people uh, look horrified, but you just take your thumb and you go. You also want to make sure that you are at a 90 degree angle, no matter what part of the thumb you play on. So if you see your thumb drifting like this, or this or this or something like that. You want 90 degree angle and you want a 90 degree angle like with your thumb tip and the fingerboard. Finally, just make sure that the tone you're getting with the thumb is as good as the tone on any other finger. So I play. I just want to make sure that all those notes sound the same. Oftentimes, especially with closed notes at first, you'll get this sort of like strange sound and that's just not having a firm close. It will take time to develop. So pick your spot. This is probably going to be easier to start. This is probably going to be more useful, potentially, but also take more time. Don't be discouraged. Work at it and we'll see you in the next one. Yikes, that hurts so Now you stop the squeaking, huh? The squeaking stops, you know daddy's done filming?